Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Jurassic Park Triops again and today I got a new video for you guys about the Triops Longicadaudus gonocoric. Um, for the people that have been watching the previous videos, unfortunately the Cancriformis gonocoric species has failed as a species. Uh, the third batch also died miraculously and uh, I still don't know the reasons why they have passed. But I got some... Um, well, I have some IDs, but still I'm figuring out what's going on. I actually was able to dry some of their eggs, so I got like, let's say, 200 or 300 eggs uh, drying currently. But uh, I was having Cancroformis, and the Cancroformis species was being kept at a lower temperature. Summer is nearing, so I thought like, maybe I should switch over to the Longicadaudus gonocoric species because uh, the Longicadaudus species is actually more of a tropical type of triops. They can actually handle temperatures from let's say 24 degrees Celsius up to 29 degrees Celsius which is definitely better than the Cancroformis species who accepts let's say 20 degrees up to 27 maybe 28 um, but at the long term the Longicadaudus will survive uh, higher temperatures better than the cancroformis in my opinion so um that's basically why i changed up to the of why i changed to longer get out it's going to cork so let's take a look at the hatchery right now uh, as you can see there are plenty of little triopses inside little triops inside this little hatchery um it's the longer get out it's going to cork species as i said before and uh, these guys should be around, let's say, let's say day four or five, maybe. And um, well, they are omnivorous, so I'm going to feed them some Daphnia today. Uh, it's the first uh, dead animal of, well, what's let's, let's say, uh, un defrosted uh, food uh, me menu meal that they are going to get today. Uh, they have been eating spirulina algae powder and um, some crushed. Uh, adult food. This is crushed adult food, so really small particles. This is what I feed them the first several days uh, together with some um, spirulina algae powder. This is the algae powder that I have. It is spirulina, 100% spirulina algae powder and uh, I basically just dissolve it in water and add some little drops inside the hatchery. And um, yeah, usually I use this little uh, glass thing and uh, just uh, get myself a good um, dose of uh, spirulina algae powder dissolved in the water. Um, water is coming from the hatchery so I'll usually take out like one uh, pipette of uh, water, add some powder, mix it and then put it back inside the hatchery. As you can see I also um, rearranged the scape. Um, as you can see we have a higher uh, ground here and the lower ground over here. Um, the reason behind this is because their circulation is like going like this. So I wanted to have a lower region where all the detritus would start to collect. So I just need to vacuum this part. And this part will be like the little jungle where they can, you know, hide a little bit. This is the socializing area where I will be feeding them. And if I feed them here, usually their poop and stuff will just enter the filter pretty f easily instead of, you know, starting to collect between all these plants and stuff um, it works I guess so I'm just going to try out this setup for once and um, I don't know I just wanted a little bit more jungle <coughs> unfortunately these plants uh, I bought them as a um, as one clump and unfortunately there were some dead parts in it but no problem I'm just going to leave it there because the trials will actually eat this because it's dead plant material it's dead organic material and eventually this piece will fall off, fall to the ground where the triops will start to eat it. So this is basically just free food for the triops. I really don't mind it if it's not completely green and healthy plants. Uh, the triops will get rid of it, at least of the dead parts. And um, well, um, next point is, uh, as I told, I'm going to hatch the Longicadaudus gonocoric right now. And why am I focusing on the gonocoric tribe species right now? Because uh, I'm actually busy with a hybrid project. And the hybrid project is basically me trying to um, mix two tribe species into a new hybrid tribe species. And for that, I need gonocoric tribe species. Because I need males and females that I can actually, you know, start to kind of select and um, 
have them at least try to have them mate together and maybe their eggs will be fertilized and uh, you know a new tribe species would emerge and what i'm trying to do with that is i want to try if i can basically breed certain characteristics characteristics of tribes that i can play with a little bit to get like trials that would survive longer get bigger um all kinds of stuff, you know. Um, the longer you the species actually is a fast-growing species, and the cankerformis is a slow-growing species. Could I make a like medium, like in between uh, size? Is it like you know, like the species would like uh, be a golden middle of like the best trial species? I'm just you know, just trying to find out if it's possible. The um, there are quite some gonokari tribe species, so the mixes could be unlimited if it works. So that's a whole new chapter in the tribes keeping uh, community, I guess. Um, but it is interesting me. So I was trying, like, maybe I should try this out for several times at least. I really would like to uh, discover if it's possible to, you know, to cross tribe breeds. And, well, I think this is a really healthy, well picked decision like the uh, longer Godaudi species is more of an omnivore so I would like say it is more of a predatory trials you know if if I drop like a dead fish inside this tank the, um, the longer Godaudis will definitely engage on it where the cankerformis albino Japan for example doesn't engage on that fish it just doesn't like that fish it just wants to eat plants mostly so this is more of a uh, omnivorous type of trials and I also have the Granarius triop species, and I want to mix the Granarius triop species with the Longicodaudus gonocoric species and see if that works out. So, what will happen next is we get a hybrid. So, then I also have the Cancroformis uh, mix with the Granarius. And what happens if we actually start to mix hybrids together? What will come next, you know? It's such uh, a mystery now that I'm actually, you know... I want to get really dedicated to the project because it is something new and it's something interesting and I want to be on top of it, basically. <laughs> so, what we're going to do next, uh, we're going to feed the trials some Daphnias. They really like Daphnia. Give me a second, guys. Get some Daphnia in. And let's see the reaction of these guys. <laughs> They're like, oh damn, that's some tasty stuff, master. Let's see. I'm sorry, guys, the zoom of this device is just not working correctly every time. But try my best. So here we have like a little uh, pile of Daphnia. Uh, the traps are going to eat from it. They are definitely going to eat from it. Maybe a top view would be nice. Give me a second, guys. Be right back. So, there's the top view over here. You can actually see a Trubs being busy. Dragging around a piece of Daphnia. Give me a second, guys. Zoom is terrible again. There he is. <laughs> Just chilling at the surface. And let's see where are the other ones. Oh, here they are. There they are. I actually got quite a bunch. I actually didn't expect them... Um, well, I actually didn't expect that much of them to survive. But I think I might actually have about 15 or 20 of them. That's a good colony size though. Really good colony size. Really happy with it. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to try to, you know... Grow them up a little bit more, start transferring uh, tank water to the hatchery just to acclimate them to the tap water that I'm using. Dechlorinated guys, never forget to dechlorinate your tap water. Um, dechlorinated tap water and then I just need to acclimate them to the tank parameters. And then everything will be set and I hope they will survive this time. Um, in case these guys will also start to show the same problems like the previous colony, I will probably throw away all the plants, uh, throw away the substrate and clean out the filter completely. Probably some kind of disease would be inside the tank. I'm not completely sure though if that is the case, but if it is the case, 
we will try to fix it because this is not like uh, what happened with the previous colonies is just not fun. Uh, losing three colonies over unknown reasons is never fun. So, but hey, it's all part of the game, you know. It's all part of the hobby. Uh, sometimes you just have a failed batch. It it happens. Also, uh, my batch also fails sometimes. Um, just try your best. That's the best we can do, of course. So, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the little update video. Um, well... A new species, new chapter, new information, more information will come in the future, of course. So, I hope to see you guys in the future. Feel free to subscribe to the Triassic Park Trials YouTube channel. If you got some direct questions, it is possible to drop them in the comments below. But I can also recommend to just send me a DM on my Instagram. You can find me and as at uh, Triassic underscore Park. Or you can find me on Facebook as Triassic Park Traps as well. There you can ask your direct questions. Um, direct questions get like a notification on my phone. So that's easier for me than just, you know, watching of like going back to every YouTube video and check to see if there are comments, you know. So if you got some direct questions, feel free to hit me up on the, direct, on the DMs, you know, Instagram or Facebook. It's possible. Or you can just email me at triassicparktriops at gmail.com. Hope to see you next time, guys. Have a nice day.